camera. I'm going to get Ferg to, to assist me in this. It's a, it's a tribal and traditional torture technique uh, taught to me by, by some local Shangans. And I'm going to get Ferg to focus. Where's the best spot for you to stand, Ferg? Over here. Okay, right over here. We're gonna. I've got two sticks of a plant called a sandpaper raisin. And once Ferg is focused, he's going to come and join me for a quick second. Because I'm going to, I'm going to torture him, folks. But I'm not going to hurt him. I promise. I'm just going to show you a ritualized technique that. Um, <laughs> Fergie, if you could do this with your hands for me, please. Okay, now put this inside there. Open your finger. Open there. Okay, now we hope you folks can see this at home. Essentially, the, the traditional thing is it's more of a discipline or a punishment. If I just grab Ferg's fingers like this, he just, did you hear him scream there? And now I can pull him and take him in any direction that I like. So it's a bit of a punishment. I could really hurt him if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, thanks, Fergs, for being the, the guinea pig today. Uh, that was a wonderful demonstration of your ability to endure pain. Um, I've seen it done. Um, I'm, the, the origins are quite skeptical. Some people have told me that it's the, the wife will do it to the husband to drag him around to punish him. him. Some say it's naughty children. If they misbehave at school, the teachers will do that to them. And it's a very good way to make them listen. I know there's lots of corporal punishment out in the world. And this is probably a very outdated one. But the sandpaper raisin, if you have a look at the stick, very easy to identify. <laughs> poor Ferg, poor Ferg. The stick is very square, very square bark, and it's very easy to identify. It's one of the Grevia species, the raisin species, and long sticks out of this are actually quite useful for making a bow, for bow and arrow, also for making a bow for holding onto the stick when doing a, a fire drill. So instead of using a fire drill this way, you can use a bow that can make that drill work quite nicely. So thanks, Fergs, for that. I wonder if that has been done on air before, but you're a good show. Good show.